Hello everybody, my name is Elf Sonic. Welcome to another reaction video. With this reaction video, I'm not doing just one, but two videos that I'm kind of reacting to it in this video. This reaction video. They're all over multiverses. The game multiverses. Yeah, recently they... Well, whenever I've seen this video, depending on whenever it's uploaded, yeah, recently they opened, they are mentioning the open beta is nearing, well, I guess the open beta is already out if you're seeing this in the distant future, but anyway, yeah, reacting to two videos in this uh, video, you know, I guess at the close to the end I might say my thoughts or whatever, or as I don't know what to expect after watching watch these two videos, but yeah, so there's this video is entitled Multiverse's Open Beta Announcement. That video. And the second video is Multiverse's Official Gameplay Trailer. Alright, those are just the name of the two videos. Uh, of course, they mentioned this on their Twitter. Yeah, the Twitter account for Multiverse's. And yeah, July 26th. The beta is almost here. And I've played since the alpha. Well, oh, I didn't play the alpha. to get a chance to. But, anyways, I guess I'm trying to form what I'm trying to say here, but, ah, whatever, I'm sure I'll remember with whatever I'm trying to say here, anyways, but, let's just get on with this already, because I'm trying to explain to you what I'm trying to do in this video and such, exactly, so, let's get on with it, here we go, let's begin, let me just start this up here, alright, here we go, boom, boom, ah. Hi, I'm Tony, the co-founder here at Player First Games. Hello, and the game Tony. director on our new free-to-play platform fighter multiverses. Mm -hmm. I'm here today to thank everyone who participated in our recent closed alpha and shared hey, feedback. The team is currently hard at work, work updating the game in the lead-up to our upcoming open beta. Speaking of open beta, I'm super excited to announce that the open beta for multiverses will be available to all players across Xbox, PlayStation, and PC for free. Beginning July 26th. For free. So and players will have the opportunity to get early access to the game beginning July 19th. July 19th. If you previously participated in the closed early alpha, access. don't worry. You'll automatically get early access. And if you didn't get a chance to participate, head over to multiverses.com for more details on how to enter. Get a clue! I already kind of did that. So I'm already aware of that. For us, open beta is just the beginning. In the months ahead, we plan to add new characters, new maps, new cosmetics, and more ways to play across our upcoming seasons of content. I'm happy mm. to confirm that player progression and unlocks earned during the open beta will carry forward through the life of the game. I remember reading that somewhere. Mm. Our huh. commitment is to our players and making really? multiverses the best it can be. And we're going to keep refining the game based on your feedback. Mm -hmm. From all of us at Player First Games, we couldn't be more excited to share multiverses with all of you very soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, July 26th, open beta. Yeah, I was trying to listen to everything he was saying there. Begins July 19th, early access. Yeah, I was trying to listen to what he was saying there. It's like at some points I had moments where I wanted to say something, but I also wanted to just listen to what he was saying too. That's kind of what we do throughout reaction videos. You know, as you're reacting to it, kind of saying what you're, what's on your mind as you're reacting to something. But the guy's talking here, man. He's the, what do you say he was, the founder or something of player first games? Yeah, I mean, Trump, so like, ugh, at one point when he kind of can't remember anymore that moment, that ugh, moment in the thing. Huh. Okay, so, anyways, let's move on to our next, uh, let's, alright, huh, let me say it. What the frick am I doing? Let's move on to the next uh, two part, you know, video that I was gonna check on here. Let's see the gameplay trailer now. Uh, let me see the gameplay trailer. Let me react to the gameplay trailer in here now. So, yeah. Just hope this doesn't turn out as another one of those games that are just trying to be competitive and hard to enjoy or something. Cause I just feel like a lot of games out there have just been like, oh, we're trying to be pretty competitive, but. God, just, I'll get into that later, if I can form my words of what I'm really trying to say. Now let's get into the next, next, uh, video inside this reaction video here. 
<laughs> Still has to do a multiverses. They upload two videos. Yeah. Uh huh, they did. The co is he a co founder or founder? I forgot. He just said his name. I literally can't remember everything I just saw in that video now. So, yeah. yeah, multiverse. This will go into. Here we go. I clicked on it. Alright. Boom. Full screen. There they are. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, just popped up on screen. Ah, my hands are getting. Oh, all right. Let's... Yeah, I just clicked on it. And this is it. It just popped up. Multiverses. Visual gameplay. Dream. All right. I want to check this. Let's see this. Here we go. And then I'll say afterwards. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Begin. <laughs> huh. Let me show you how we do it back in Metropolis. <laughs> Superman in there. Unlikely I've always. I've been doing this since before you was born. Huh. Glad I brought the utility belt. Good point you said that there. Oh, That's hey a good man. point. We just got to stop being like this. Because it's been around before this curfew. Ready to be a hero. Huh. Wow. Hey, Batman. What's got funny is that a face begging for a hammer. That stupid hammer is so practical. You want to dance? Watch your step. Sorry, dog. The voice lines. My God, the dialogue in this game. I don't know how much so far they went with voice lines. I mean, voice I acting. Or, what was that? Game of Thrones? Yeah, ever explained the voice. I'm gonna eat someone. I'm ah. here. I'm here. Ah. Iron Man. Did I say it right? No, not Iron Man. Iron <laughs> Giant. Stupid. Why'd I say that? God, look at the guy move on screen. We can find that. Couldn't hear him over me talking. Look at him move. Those moves. Luke's my friend. Superman. It's been spent. Ha ha ha. Unique unlocks. Spent, spent, spent. That's funny. Skins. Look at all those skins. Oh, thank okay. you. Yep. No one can resist the lasso of truth. We're familiar. Time to move the thing. Hold your handbags now. Cake's there coming there. through. Just put those characters in there. Ding dong. Oh. Ding dong. All right. Back, demon. Back, demon. Heads Bring up, out. dude. Ah. What was that, Tom? Emotes. What the heck? I'm more ways to play with your friends. Really? This is what I'm up against? They're giving you other options to play with you. What do you like? I don't know. I guess that's just it not my cup of tea. Free for all. That's fun. I apparently don't like to look at all in this time of year. I don't know, one new one has just never been fun for me. I look good in the monocle. Ha! I look good in the monocle! God, the dialogue. Ooh, what did that say? That was funny. The good July 19th. Right. Early access. Is that what it said? No, open early access. Yeah, as we're doing this, it's probably already past that date whenever we're seeing this. So, yeah, that's gonna be. God, the freaking voice acting. You know, like, good a monocle. Like, it's a good a monocle. Yeah, Shaggy. The voice actor for Shaggy. Yeah, my God. The voice lines. Trying to eat someone. Like, oh, God, just saw the Iron Giant in there. Yeah, Iron Giant. I don't know why it's an Iron Man. What the heck is my, where's my brain at? So, what? Who brain? Ugh. <laughs> no, what? It was weird. And it's funny. Yeah, it's like oh, all those like the custom skins they set in there. Which is maybe I can click on things like. You know why don't I actually try like reviewing what I'm talking about or something? Weird. Yeah, it's just from what's Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's what I remember. Yeah, shouts. I never explain the roster. How to eat someone? That the dialogue in this game. How they actually respond to each other in the game since I'm here, yep. And it says I'm giant in there. Yeah. What? Luke's more he's, he's huge, everyone's so tiny. It's like that's kinda like Ridley, kinda reminds me of Ridley. But did they scale Ridley down in Smash Bros over here? They didn't scale him down. Hmm, 
because they're trying to not scale. They want the actual size. Why would you go out there scaling then? I don't know. The the choice on what the developers choose to do with the game. Huh. How they feel about going about Superman. something. Like that. Superman. Superman. And Superman is in there. He's on the same team as Superman. Iron Giant. <laughs> Funny. Spread, spread, spread. Taz kills. Uh, yeah. Iron Giant. I almost keep saying Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Giant. Iron Giant. Not a man, but yeah. And there's Finn. Yeah. It's a game over like cartoon characters. I even feel good characters. I'm still wondering how it's gonna play. Like, will, like, will I actually. Because the thing is, when I play. It's just. I don't know. There's too much space. There's too much space between players. And these. Oh, they call them platform fighters now. There was never called. Since when is Smash Bros. called a platform fighter? Until all these other games that come out after it. They started calling it a platform fighter. Yeah, the creator, the, the creator, Sakurai of Smash Bros. series, calls, he considers the game, he calls it a four player action battle royale. Doesn't call it a fighting game when most people think of it as a fighting game, even though it sits under the fighting game subgenre. Said that somewhere in an interview, when he was, he was doing an interview, Sakurai, yeah, that's somewhere. Look it up if you can find it, I guess, yeah. Just, yeah, not just there's too much space between, but there's too much space in between players. It's just too much open space. It's not, it's not the same as like oh Street Fighters or Tekken. Oh, why play the game like like Tekken or Street Fighters when the game is not? It's so different. It's not designed like that. That's why it just like oh from my experience, one thing one was never fun. It's like, oh, we're suddenly taking it way too seriously, and it's like, I don't know, it's just, well, I actually would enjoy playing one to one in this game. I think it's like, the way the game is designed, like, oh, it's only fun with certain characters, and some characters, it's just not very fun when doing one to one. Like, in Smash Bros, I always liked playing Donkey Kong, and I guess, oh, the problem with Donkey Kong is it doesn't have a projectile. And if you turn off items, then there's no projectile. How am I supposed to be able to approach someone? It's frustrating. It's like, why are we suddenly taking the game with you seriously like that? Like, God, I just want to enjoy the game. It's not, and it's just not fun. Why bother? It's just not fun. Problem with people taking the game with you seriously like that. It's just disgusting. It's like, bro, I don't know. Yeah, playing it like that. I don't know. Will it actually be fun if I tried playing it that way? But I don't have to play it that way. That's the thing. There's multiple modes where I can play free for all, of course. And it's like really heavily focused. This game is so heavily focused on 2v2. I know it's the thing about multiverses. Oh, so heavily focused on 2v2. Whereas in Smash Bros, there isn't a go to exact way on how the game is played. The game can be played in a huge number of variety of ways. Yeah, there's no real way, like, there's no, like, like, if you want to play this way, you can play that way. You want to play with one do one like, no items, a flat boring stage, you can do that. Or you want to play with the eight players, you can do that. Or you want to play with only certain items on, or, or no items on, you can do that. The game is so customizable. That's the thing about Smash Bros. It's always been so customizable. And I think people who, I guess, I don't know, that's the thing with the community, or most majority of people in the community, insist and force, try and force other players to play, and just, what do you want? No, just all the game play. Like, the kind of people I've dealt with when, when playing that game. It's like, I think people overlook the fact that the game is so customizable, that there's no right or wrong way or particular way on how you're supposed to play the game. That's the beauty of Smash Bros. Is the the possibilities are just limitless on how you can go about customizing and playing that game. That's the thing about Smash Bros. Well, other games that come after it are kind of trying to focus more on like, oh, this is how the game is played and such. But there is no how exactly how to play Smash. There isn't. But it's more like, how do you play Smash? I guess I like playing Smash Bros. as a battle royale. You know, because it's fun to play it like a battle royale. You know, they did kind of advertise it like a bit like that in some ways. 
uh, here it's more focused on 2v2 and I think I might actually, I don't know, once I start playing the game I'll see how multiverses is once I actually play it. Yeah, because so I don't know if it's going to be another game that's hard to enjoy when, oh, it's only fun when you win, but not fun when you lose. I feel like a lot of games have been feeling like that lately because they, they take themselves way too seriously. I guess the games themselves with how they're designed or something like that. It's like, just, ugh. I guess someone's on a, oh, it's only fun if you win. You're going to lose winning streak. It's only fun if you win. But then we're going to lose a streak. It's just not fun at all. The game's not fun. That's, that's no good. The game should be enjoyable regardless whether you win or not. And I feel like I've been having trouble. It's like, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but I've been experiencing a lot of games lately that are just, like that. It seems like nowadays a lot of games are like, oh, you gotta play this game for hundreds and hundreds and hours, only to then finally start to enjoy it. Cause it's like you can't just pick up and start playing. It's like, what's up with that's just why so many games are like that nowadays. Just plus I have a niece, so I can't play any game in particular. Uh, yeah, the niece I have, the, I don't need to explain what my you see on my channel. Why do I gotta explain that time and time again? Look, if someone doesn't watch my videos on my channel, there's my channel introduction video. That's the first thing you see when you go to my channel page. Yeah, you'll see my dog. That should explain what what I do on my channel, aside from reaction videos off to the side. It's a, and check out in-game events. I do an overview summary of the in-game event, like a seasonal event, and then later I might go in-depth again. To check it all out for myself everything that's new for the event that's kind of what i do but it's so time since then that's why i tend to do most of the content i create live yeah and i have a hard time trying to get these videos uploaded like these videos i do uploaded so regardless whenever this video is uploaded i i don't care how you know long ago of when this happened and such and me just whenever this is uploaded it doesn't matter like i don't care whether it's trending or not anymore I just i did this deal because i just wanted to do it and it's uploaded so yeah mm. yes yeah, so that's the thing about do it while it's hot it's, it's either trending or no longer trending that kind of thing don't care i'm doing it because i like doing it i just want to do it because i enjoy doing it simply as that the only reason why i make these deals to begin with so, really, not for any other reason, to be honest. Hmm. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, trying to say what I'm trying to say about all this. Yeah. It's like, so I enjoy it. Let's see that. <laughs> yeah, look at the cosmetics there. That's funny, in the official trailer. Huh? I don't think I overlooked that. I didn't see that. What's he doing there? Skins. The different skins. What is that from? I remember that skin, but I can't remember where it's from exactly. Different skins she's got from from uh, Game of Thrones, and yeah, I remember this this look from this show, Steven Universe. What what does he call it? Forgot what the name of that get up he's wearing. Like he's going to a wrestling. Like if you've seen the episode in the show, of course you know what this what moment and uh, what episode this was from. I remember. Well, I guess I've seen almost every episode of this show. I just kind of watched it. Like, all right, yeah, now it's over. So, they don't watch anymore. Yeah. I don't know, I haven't seen it anymore. They don't really show it. Just a weird show. But, yeah, what show isn't weird? It's cartoons. It's just, yeah, a show on cartoon characters. Excuse me, why did I say it? I mean, it's a video game of cartoon characters, not video game characters. I wonder how it is. Once I play it, I guess I'll know what the game is like. I can't really say anything about it until I play it. I haven't played the, I've not played the open beta. No, excuse me. I've not played the closed out though. It wasn't able to. Remember that since the last reaction to it, I did a multiverse already. So, yeah. I don't know. Yes, I'm having a hard time finding the words I'm looking for with what I'm trying to say right now with all this. Yeah, funny. Oh, yeah, I like that. Classic Harlequin. Yeah, that's the one I remember from the Batman animated series. Batman the animated series. That's the Harlequin right there. 
I remember with the modern one that we see today. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the modern one. It's just, what the heck is she wearing? All the skins. Look at what she's wearing right there. Silly. <laughs> is that from that? Yeah. God, it's like so many references. I get the reference over that skin is from and such on a lot of the stuff in here. No one can resist the lasso of truth. This was the last one. Took out, yeah. Funny. Yeah, the cowboy outfit from that Tom and Jerry episode. Yeah, of course. My gosh. Of course, I recognize a lot of things in here. Like, I remember this character from Adventure Time. Or, can't say I remember when he was in this. Was it like an. Was there like something where he had an alter ego or something? Or is that just his get up? It's just an old costume for Shaggy. I can't remember. Uh, I know there's something, I guess it's one of the Scooby-Doo movies where he's hypnotized himself or something, and what was that? I don't you know, even know what I'm talking about, if you remember. I can't even explain it. Yeah. Uncle Shagworthy! Does it, he changed his voice, right? His voice is changed with the skin. I can't remember where is that from, what episode of Scooby-Doo or what? What variation of the Scooby-Doo shows is that from? I can't remember. Literally, that's the only thing I guess I don't re recognize it. Seen a lot of Scooby-Doo, especially from the Hanna Barbera days in the 80s. Yeah, of course I'm getting a lot of nostalgia from just seeing a lot of references and such from all these like cartoon characters in this game. That's why I'm trying to point out and I've been trying to say this whole time. Yeah, Tom and Jerry is. Tom and Jerry is like one of the shows I used to watch a lot. I can still see Tom and Jerry on TV. If you watch TV. Or Looney Tunes for sure. And that's why I'm probably going to most definitely play Taz. And I might also play Doug's Lunny or Tom and Jerry. I also noticed that Taz is one of the characters you start out with. So you don't have to unlock Taz. But yay, I can play Taz right, right off of that. I'm not... I'm not one, I don't do mains, but I guess Taz, Taz Nane Devil is probably the one I'll probably play mo most of or more of. Once I get a chance to play him, see how he is in this game. Through the open data, of course. Wonder how this game is going to be, and is it really how accessible, like how well can you really approach people in this game? Because there's too much of a gap, dis distance between players. In a game like this, that's completely different from tra traditional, like, fighting games, like, you know, Street Fighters, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, you know, all, those are fighting games. Now they call them these platform fighters, and, like, they started calling them platform fighters, I feel like, after games like Valhalla, or all these other iterations come out. Because, yeah, like I said, I don't remember Smash Bros. ever being called a platform fighter. That's new. Yeah. Because I guess it never was. Most people called it like a party game. It's Nash Rose. Mm. And some people don't like hearing that. But yeah. Been a while since I played Smash. But yeah. Mm. I kind of would like to go back to it. Like it's so kind of what I'm doing here on the YouTube channel. I can barely find time to. But yeah. Mm hmm. That's funny. The variants. The, 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 yeah, the variants. Like, I already looked at that. Of course I saw that. Of course I'm just reviewing things I saw inside those trailers here. Oops. Never mind. So, yeah. Really. I'm kind of just reviewing things there and just saying I'm not lying about this. I hope you're able to understand what I'm saying. If I'm speaking clearly, sometimes I'm not enunciating word for word of what I'm saying as I'm talking. Yeah. That's from that one episode of Adventure Time. This cat. I forgot what her name was. And I can't remember what that's from, but you heard his voice. It changes his voice now. Wait, yeah, don't they like getting weird get ups like, like uh, Scooby Doo and Shaggy? Like at some moments they get this weird clothing. And, like, one moment. I guess it's, I, I wouldn't say if it's quite like, well, then there is has been a moment where. Like Scooby or Shaggy were kind of cross dressing at one point just to deceive the other pope, po you know, to deceive the villain or the antag antagonist. Kind of similar to like, you know, how like, uh, like, what's it? 
what the heck how thugs bunny thugs bunny like does cross dressing to just simply as it's with the intention of being deceptive you know like it's trying to outsmart all their fun and such and the making them think it's a girl or something is not it's supposed to be funny that's the point of it whereas now cross dressing today it's is just compared to then there were different times you know different times things were different back then you know it's just it was all just for like trying to be humorous and funny the whole cross-dressing cartoon characters it's, it's like what the is that what the whole like i forgot i'm just, i don't know that's what it kind of looks like when i when that's i see so that true. let's see if i can find it again yeah here listen what he says when he's talking no one can resist the lasso of truth Ugh. Uncle Chadworthy, at your service. Hold your handbag. Uncle Chadworthy. Uncle Chadworthy, at your service. Like, what the heck? Hold your handbags now. Now, cakes. Hold your handbags now. Yeah. What the heck? Cakes coming through. <laughs> coming through. Cakes coming through. Giddy up. Oh. Oh, you got them both on the same screen. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, Jake and Cake are both on the same screen. Cake is from an alternate universe. Like, oh, I'm assuming after they did that, I can already figure that, expect to see the variation. Was it Fionna or something? I forgot what her name is. The female version of Finn. Like, it's, uh, it's, you know, was it Rule 63 where it's a gender, gender bent or gender bent reality where a different reality is a female version of yourself? Like there's a female star in there. There is apparently. I'm not talking about Spider Gwen, but female version of where his name is not Peter Parker in the alternate reality, and or Peter Parker, or or Star Man's a girl and of the guy. Or I guess that's what this kind of thing is. And it's a cat instead of a dog because it's from an alternate reality. Oh, you see the show, yeah. Right. What else was I talking about? God, I'm going a lot, going on and on and on talking about this. Yeah. Take this, you ding-dong! Oh. Ding-dong! And he just attacks them. So they actually talk throughout the whole thing while they're fighting. Like, I've seen the game player. Are they just putting, like, voice lines together at certain moments with how they form this trailer? I don't know. I have to actually play the game and see how often they actually talk. Take this, you ding-dong! And he just looks like... Like it's supposed to be funny. I can see the humor. I've seen I've seen gameplay on on this already. It's not the first time I've seen gameplay in this. Like I saw, of course, I saw other people playing it when they were playing it since it was alpha. Uh, cake's coming through. Giddy up! Take this, you ding dong! Oh! Oh! Is it giddy up? Yeah, I saw him turn into a horse. Take this, ding dong! And went flying. He's like, oh! Is it like God? Are they like full on constantly talking? As I remember since the close alpha and a few videos that people seen other videos of other people playing this game where they weren't talking as much like they are in this trailer. Maybe it's just for this trailer. I have to find out how much they're talking. Like they really talk that much? Or do they just was that just a perfect moment when they start talking? And they just included what how they're structured and made this trailer. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah, this rain dog. Only one of the only original characters in the game right now. Yeah. Back, Ring demon. Out. Tell us about the different modes in the game. Ring outs. They're calling it ring outs? Are they calling it ring outs instead of 2v2? Heads up, dude! Ah! What was that? That was Tom. Was that Tom? Heads up, dude! No, that's not Tom. Oh, that's just this little thingy in the corner. That's Sam and Sam. Looney Tunes, yeah. Back, demon! Heads up, dude! New leader. Ring outs. Oh, it's, it's ring outs. That's for free for all, right? Oh, demon. It's just, there's different modes. Heads up, dude. Yeah. That's emotes. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Ring outs. Ring outs is the explosion thing. That's what the ring out is. Heads up, dude! This thing is the ring out. Is that why they're called? They're saying ring out because this or sailing saying up there, different customized uh, ring outs, different customized little emotes and such. That's what they're doing. Different skin variations. Yeah, you know.
a lot of them are like, Yo, oh, I remember that dance that Thugs Dunny was just doing there. Yeah, whatever cartoon uh, episode of cartoon it was from. Yeah, you know, it's... Yeah, I remember what this is from. What episode was that from in Steven Universe? Can't remember. It kind of... I'm not sure if that's familiar or not. And more ways to play with your friends. Yeah. Specific ways. And it's like in Smash Bros. You're going to have a specific set of way on how to play the game. Like I said, it seems like it's more focused on 2v2. Yeah. 1v1. Really? Yeah. Really? This is why I'm not against... Uh, huh. Because, look at that, they're both detectives, you notice that? Yeah, they're both detectives. He's a, you know, a cute, like, I don't know, crusader, whatever, detective. Just, I am the knight. I am Batman, or, I can't remember what is it, but, so what did I say? Or is there, what did I say? I can't even say what I'm even trying to say now. Uh, like, I guess I'm trying to mentor a certain number to talk, I, on their line. I guess what I'm thinking about right now is like a, a reference to Batman, but it's not Batman or something. Like Darkwing Duck, for example, from uh, DuckTales is kind of like a reference to Batman. Is it not? Isn't that what Dark Darkwing Duck has always been? A reference to Batman? Yeah, I'm just going on and on talking about all these cartoon characters. Because, yeah, I like cartoons. I grew up watching cartoons. I still watch cartoons. As I enjoy cartoons. Just really enjoy them. Yeah, I've always liked cartoons since Looney Tunes or Tom and Jerry back then. I grew up watching cartoons. That's just what I enjoy watching. Everyone has what they like and dislike. You know? Yeah. This is what I'm up against. Ah, and he went flying, really? It's, it's funny. Yeah, because it says there's free from mode in here. Yeah. Alright, I feel like I'm just pro prolonging this video on long enough. I'll be talking long and long Help, about this. Oh, there, Mysticos. That was Shaggy right there. The boom. Oh, Shaggy against Shaggy. It's the variation of Shaggy. Is that, like, is that like an alter ego or something for Shaggy? I can't remember where that's from. It's the only thing I can't remember right now. Some other things are look a lot of stuff is like familiar. Multiverse. <laughs> I look good in a monocle. Dude, ooh, I look good in a monocle. God, that one line Lee says that. Oh, he's notice the getup he's wearing. That's like Street Fighters, right? It's supposed to be like a reference to Street Fighters. Like that's a Ryu, right? right? Yeah, that's his Ryu color uh, I can almost said color scheme. That's his real costume. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I look good in a monocle. Ooh, look good in a monocle. Uh, the good slide I do. And whenever you see this, it's probably way, of course, it's way past that time already. Yeah. All right. Play our first games. Warner Bros. games. The company that. The company. Not the company that made the game, the company that published the game. And the game is developed by. Player first games, yeah, right. So, ugh, okay, I'm done talking about this. I know it's just reviewing things from the trailer after talking about it again. Hope I hope anything I was saying was understandable. I wasn't clear on anything I said at some point. I always do that. I don't know. I get the feeling that sometimes and I just not enunciating what I've said. All right, that's it for this uh, reaction video. Be reacting to. More of multiverses with their their announcement on open beta and the official gameplay trailer. I just felt like I wanted to do a reaction video when seeing this because I noticed they they updated with oh they're finally doing the yep open beta is finally coming out now even though they said July 2022 I think I saw that in the last trailer I saw yeah the last the last thing I reacted to in multiverses yeah mm hmm. I remember that already. I think when I play this, hopefully it's not just another game that I find hard to enjoy for. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but experiencing it, like I, I haven't said this already, experiencing a lot of games, I've just been finding them hard to enjoy. Where, why is it so many games I've been playing lately have been just nothing but frustrating? 
I'm tired of just being frustrated. Like, I want to just play a game that I can actually enjoy playing. Just, and it feels like so many games nowadays are just taking themselves way too seriously. Like, yeah, I'm sure I've already said this of what I'm talking about right now again. So, yeah, I know. I just have a lot to say about what I'm, say what I'm seeing here. Yep. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, anyways, yeah. That's it for this reaction video. For real this time when I said that. So, alright. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, do whatever you want at the end of this video. You know, you know, yeah, if you want, I mean, want to let me know whether you like the video or not. You can. Only up to the like button. Yeah, you know. Or, I mean, if you're new to my channel, I guess, and I guess if you're, more in if you're interested and in if you got this far into the video, and I guess if you like what you saw and you'd like to, I don't know, if you want to see more content like this or my other content on my channel, I guess if you're interested, then, you know, you can subscribe. Totally up to you if you want. Yeah. I do this in the because I just like enjoy doing it. It's like doing it. So, yeah, up to you if you like to see more from me, or if you want to subscribe, whatever. Yeah, you know how that is. So, yeah, well, I'm not saying, whatever. Yeah, why do I feel like, do I need to say this at the end of my video, outro, or whatever? I feel like at some point, I'm not even going to bother mentioning, like, Hey, the legs button or so, uh, I never ask people. Am I asking you? No, I'm not asking you. Hey, you're not if you're not interested, that's fine. Thanks for watching anyway. Well hey, if you are interested, load it. Alright. Cool. If you want to subscribe, alright, hey, let's appreciate. But I'm never asking anyone to. Of course not. Just what the freak? We'll discuss it with that at the end. Yeah, literally at some point I'm not even gonna bother with saying the stuff at the end of at the end of my video, but really, I'm just being honest with how I feel about this. Why do I even do this? Uh, yeah, tell notifications, you're notified when I upload another video or go live, blah, blah, blah. You know, of course, if you don't want to miss anything, or there's my social media description down below, you know, if you want to keep up with everything and not miss a thing or know what, what I'm up to or what I'm maybe doing next. Like, I may go live over at Twitch or whatever. Yeah, you know. Okay. That's it. That's it for this. For real. What? Did I say that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Really. So, yeah. So, anyways. Yep. Thanks for watching this reaction video. So, yeah. And with that said, like always, thanks for watching, everybody. Yes. <laughs> See you next time. All right, yep, see you next time. Yeah, wah, wah, see you next time. What am I doing? Yeah, see you next time. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Hey! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yeah!